little update. I'm in Omaha, Nebraska. There are no racetracks in Omaha, Nebraska that I know of, and I normally don't even connect through Omaha. I was on my way to Minneapolis, and then from Minneapolis to Milwaukee to get to the Road America race weekend, the SRO race weekend. At the moment, I'm stuck here in Omaha. Our flight to Minneapolis was diverted here because there was bad weather at first, then there was a mechanical with our plane, then we started to run out of fuel, I guess, or we were gonna run out of fuel if we tried to circle too long to deal with the weather. Um, and I had my headphones in listening to music and working on stuff and uh, we landed in Omaha and I got up, grabbed my stuff, started to get off the plane. I'm like, okay, we're in Minneapolis. And nobody else was getting off the plane and I didn't even realize that we'd been diverted because I just had my headphones in and <laughs> hadn't been paying attention. So I'm in Omaha. I've been here for a few hours. The plane that was supposed to go to Minneapolis that I was on just left. It's on its way to Minneapolis right now without me on it because I looked at the weather and I decided I did not like my chances going to Minneapolis. So I rebooked. I'm on a flight to Chicago, which gets me kind of close enough. Should be landing around 7.30 p.m. if everything goes well. Wish me luck. You know, not a great start to the race weekend when we get diverted and screwed up like this, but here we are. We do the best we can. So I'm not gonna lie, there was part of me that considered driving from Omaha to Road America. You know, I figured I could just grab my bag off the plane, rent a car from here, and uh, just hightail it on the highway. Um, it's about an eight and a half hour drive, which ultimately I decided was a little too far to try and make, <laughs> make happen in one afternoon, one evening uh, by myself. So uh, here we sit and wait and fingers crossed that our flight to uh, Chicago gets us there tonight. I made it. It's late. I'm here. My gear bag with all my race gear and all my clothes for that matter did not make it. An absolute mess of a travel day. Probably the worst travel day I've had in years, to be honest. Um, just total craziness. Don't know where my bag is. I don't know when I'm going to get it. Uh, assuming I probably won't get it this weekend, but Thankfully, my awesome buddy, Steve Jenkins, who I haven't seen in ages, came to my rescue. I realized I was in trouble and he lent me all of his race gear. His local guy lives here in Chicago. So I'm wearing Steve's helmet and his race suit, his Nomex, all his gear tomorrow. And James Clay also offered a bunch of his gear, my Bim World teammate. And Carl Whitmer, another buddy of mine, saw my Instagram story and offered up some of his gear if I needed it. Actually feeling pretty, uh, pretty loved, pretty taken care of by my fellow racers in the paddock. It's kind of a good feeling after a long, crappy travel day where none of my stuff showed up that to know that I made it and I'm gonna be able to drive tomorrow. I might not be the most comfortable or the best fitting gear, but that doesn't matter. Once I hop in the car, it's not gonna be a problem. Stoked to be here, time for bed. Good night. Kind of a weird first day of practice here at Road America, but it's over, we're done. It's actually not raining for the first time all day. Practice one was all wet and we were P1 in class, P2 overall. Car was pretty good in the rain uh, after we made some adjustments. Kind of diabolical at first, to be honest, but uh, conditions changed pretty rapidly and uh, we put in a good lap at the end. Um, so we've got a good car if it rains tomorrow which it might, because it rained off and on all day today. And then uh, practice two was shortened. Because of the rain, we were on kind of a stop and hold for most of the day. Just got one lap in this afternoon on, uh, on dry tires and was really happy with the balance of the car. And then Chandler took over and drove uh, a little bit at the end. And uh, he was pretty happy too. So we got a nice race car and uh, qualifying is first thing in the morning, 8 a.m. And then uh, race at 11 a.m. The weather, who knows what it's gonna do but we're ready for, uh, for whatever happens. So got race one tomorrow, race two Sunday, and uh, 
see how it goes. So far, so good. Sitting in the, uh, the M4 GT3, the new car for next year. Uh, hopefully we'll be driving it a bunch next year as well. First time actually setting my butt in the seat though. Get a look at the uh, controls and all that. We've got it on display here at Road America. Pretty cool, pretty nice piece. All right, whoa, just arriving to the track Sunday morning. Uh, a little update on yesterday, but first, some very important news. Big update got my bag, got all my stuff. I get to race in my own gear today. That's a good feeling. Um, yesterday was kind of a struggle. We ended up finishing P5 in silver class. I think we were like P12 overall. I started the race, Chandler finished. We started from P6, so not a bad starting position, but I think I was P1 of the cars that qualified on wet tires. Our qualifying session was in a wet, drying, mixed conditions type of setting and some of the guys stuck it out on dry tires and that last lap in qualifying ended up being just dry enough to, to sneak in some good laps at the end. So. Um, they extended the session a couple minutes because there was a red flag and we thought we were only going to get one flying lap and so i made the decision i said look if we're only getting one lap i think it's wet and so after that first flying lap i was p1 on the board and uh and i came by and they said keep going you've got time for one more they extended the session a few minutes and so i kept going and, and i went a little bit quicker on that second lap but uh but everybody else who had stayed on dries that was like that was the crossover moment um and so those guys were able to to jump up to the top and uh, knock us down to, to sixth. So not a bad starting spot. I actually picked up a few places on the start, which was good. But then I kind of got stuck battling with Chris Wilson uh, for like three or four laps behind this Mercedes. And uh, normally we've got a little bit more straight line and uh, some of our, our teammates, our Brimmer World teammates, James Clay was up ahead of me. You know, he got by Chris a little bit easier. And so I was just, I had a tough time getting around him. Um, and I was using the tires up and he was going really defensive. and. That's a little frustrating because he's in a different class than we are. And so, you know, I understand wanting to race a bit and, you know, wanting to you know, go side by side and, and have some fun and fight for these overall positions. But uh, yeah, it, at the end of the day, it was really, it was really frustrating after three or four laps because, you know, now I've used up more of my tires trying to get by Chris and, and he's gone really defensive. He's compromising his race and his lap times now. I and mean, it's pushing me back into the, the guys who are, are trying to pass, trying to catch up to us from behind. So we lost some time in traffic, which was quite honestly super frustrating. And, and it kind of put Chandler in a, in a tough position in the middle of a, a pack of uh, really aggressive cars at the end of the race. Today, Chandler starting, I think like mid pack, I'm not sure the exact position, but uh, he's starting in front of a bunch of these silver competitors that were fighting in the championship. So yeah, really it's just, you know, for him, it's about elbows out, keep those cars behind him. And then hopefully, you know, we've got a better car at the end of the race. Got the GT3 cars about to start their race. Yeah, we just, we struggled with, with the late race pace. 
you know, the track here is abrasive. It's hard on tires. We were a, on a little bit of a different setup than, uh, than our BIM World teammates. And, uh, you know, coincidentally, Bill Oberlin, uh, our team car, won the race overall yesterday. So, you know, we decided to take a swing at our setup and, and make some changes for today. It looks like a dry race, whereas yesterday we thought it might rain. So we made some setup choices that would have played into our hands if it did rain for the race. So let's see what happens today. I'm hoping for a little bit better grip at the end of the race, which I'll be finishing today. Here we go. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Sunday race update didn't go super well. It was going well, and then on the third lap of the race, Chandler called in. He had no drive. Uh, we had a mechanical issue with the car on the third lap, and that pretty much ends any hope of a result in a one hour race. I got to give it to the crew. The Brim World guys jumped on it as soon as he got back to pit lane and they fixed it and it was actually not what we expected it to be it was a different problem based on what we were expecting the symptoms of the car what chandler was telling us we thought it was one thing it ended up being another that took longer to fix the guy still fixed it still got us back out there to try and get some points in the end and yeah so frustrating into what should have been a really great weekend for us you know congratulations to bill oberlin and james walker and the rest of the bim world crew and james clay nick galanti you know they both podiumed on Saturday. Bill and uh, James won the race overall, so really fantastic team result for Bimmer World. You know, a little frustrating that uh, Chandler and I couldn't join them on the podium, but Sunday Sunday was supposed to be our day. It was looking really good, and then, uh, you know, it, that's racing. It, it happens sometimes. Anyway, moving on from that, our next SRO America race will be at Watkins Glen in two weeks, two or three weeks. Anyway, it's coming up soon. We've got two races between then, which I'm stoked to be going to Barcelona next week with ST Racing and their BMW M4 GT4. We've been doing really well in that championship all year. We're hoping to continue the success. Be co-driving with Samantha Tan, Nick Whitmer, and Chandler Hulls, a part of that program as well. And then from there, Chandler and I will head to the Nürburgring for an NLS race with Walkenhorst, also in a BMW M4 GT4. So stay tuned for video updates from those races and then hopefully we have a little bit better luck at Watkins Glen in two weeks. BMW should be good there I think I hope it's been a few years since I've raced at Watkins Glen but again one of my favorite favorite tracks in the world so super excited to get back there in a couple weeks just very thankful to be a part of these programs and looking forward to finding success with all of them going forward here. Hope you like these videos it's fun let's see how it goes thanks for watching cheers.